Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God so that you can be prepared uh, for the evil in this world that's all around us. And, um, you know, we do live in a very evil society, but the Word of God purifies us and encourages us. And uh, we wanted to look today at 1 John, that's uh, the Epistle of John, uh, not the Gospel of John, 1 John 2.28. And it says, Now and now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before his coming. John the Apostle uh, was the only apostle that was not a martyr. God allowed him to live out his life, possibly uh, to an age and very old age. Uh, some uh, stories say that he lived above 100 years and he actually went blind at one point and the people would carry him around in the villages uh, carry him to church and uh, he would uh, constantly uh, you know be talking to the people around him and he would say little children uh, love one another that's a wonderful uh, you know that's how I would like to go out uh, just uh, be an encourager uh, for people. And uh, here he's referring to uh, other Christians as little children as well. And he tells uh, them to abide in him, to abide in Jesus, uh, so that uh, when he shall appear, uh, we can have confidence. Are you uh, a child of God? Uh, do you have a relationship with God? And uh, would you have confidence if Jesus Christ were to appear today? He is coming back for his church, and uh, he promises to snatch us away. And uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ could, uh, well, not the second coming, but the, uh, the um, snatching up of the church could occur at uh, any time. Now, the gospel will be preached all over the earth before Jesus is uh, second coming to where he lays his foot, feet upon the earth. But um, it says here, uh, abide in him so that when he shall appear, we may have confidence. Uh, we've got the relationship going strong while we're here on the earth, then we know that uh, we will have confidence to meet him in the air, that we will be part of those that are snatched up. And uh, we won't be ashamed of his coming. Uh, a lot of people are very fearful about the coming of Jesus Christ because they are living in sin. And are you living in sin? Uh, have you had your sins redeemed and cleansed? And ha are you living holy? Well, uh, if you are living holy and you've got a strong relationship with Jesus Christ, uh, then you're not going to be ashamed. And that's how we should have. We should have confidence in our Christian faith. And uh, if we are uh, doing what God says, uh, the Bible says that if we're engaging in sin, then uh, we're under its slavery penalty. And uh, we don't want to be a slave to sin, but we want to be freed from that. And uh, we want to live without fear. And if you're ashamed, uh, you remember uh, Adam and Eve sinned and they were in the garden and they realized that they were naked and they were ashamed uh, when God came looking for them. And um, it was maybe uh, incarnate Jesus Christ that was there looking for them. Uh, we don't know, but um, we don't want to be ashamed of our sin. And if you're ashamed of your sin, sinful behavior, that's a good thing. Because that can lead you to repentance. And uh, we need, if you're ashamed of your sin, you need to repent and turn away from the sin in your life and then turn to Jesus Christ. If, you're, um, if you've not been saved, you need to ask him into your heart and into your life. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But if you are a Christian who is sinning and you've backslidden, then you need to re uh, repent of that sin and turn back to God. God might be calling you back to Him. And you don't want to be ashamed um, of um, 
the second coming of Jesus, which could occur at any time. And um, he's going to come for his church, and um, it'll be a few years after that that he will come to rule over the earth and will end up fighting against the evil on this earth. But uh, when uh, the church is snatched away, I hope that you are prepared and that you're ready to meet him. Because uh, we're going to meet him someday. If we die, uh, then we will face him in the judgment. And uh, so regardless, you know, every, every knee shall bow and everyone are, will confess that Jesus is Lord. But some will be cast out into uh, eternal punishment. I don't want you to be cast out into eternal punishment. I want you to be filled with confidence and be unashamed uh, when Jesus Christ comes back. This is John with Light of the Scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.